Hey channel, Fernando from SkyFi Audio. Today I'm going to share with you this amazing Symbol audio rack uh, from Macintosh Audio, which is essentially the best place to house your, your absolute precious Macintosh equipment. So in this video I'm going to go over uh, not just this rack, but all the variations of it that you can order from your Macintosh dealer, as well as the, the features and functionality and the things that we love about it. So hang on, it's going to be about 10 minutes and we're going to take a deep dive. Before we get started, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel and uh, check out our, our videos. We've got quite over 150 videos at this point of uh, reviews of Macintosh equipment, uh, Klipsch, new arrivals here at SkyFi Audio. A couple of things before we get started. Our website, skyfiaudio.com, has uh, over 500 items of vintage and new audio equipment, um, almost everything you see uh, within view of this camera. Um, also, um, every Friday we send out an email blast with all the new arrivals for the week. Um, and if you go to our website, you can subscribe to that at the bottom. Just pop in your email address. We promise not to give away your address or send you any spam. It's just, you're just going to get really cool audio news. So let me jump in. So Symbol Audio is a company here in America, actually in New York, not far from SkyFi Audio, um, that makes beautiful walnut furniture, not just walnut, but hardwood furniture. Um, for both audio and, and um, you know, residences. So um, they partnered together with Macintosh, our absolute favorite brand, as you know, uh, to create this uh, line um, of pieces. There are several in the lineup. I think there's at least uh, six pieces and uh, two wood variations, or three. I'll go through it in a bit. And um, they essentially got together and designed a piece of equipment that's perfect for housing Macintosh equipment. And not just aesthetically, but also functionally. I'll go through th why, that, why that is. Um, some things are obvious, like the logo here uh, from Macintosh. This is uh, a typical Macintosh glass uh, panel, as you would see on a turntable just above it. And it is, in fact, backlit and connected to your system. So when you turn on your preamp, um, if you hook up the trigger properly, that uh, insignia will light up as well, which is a cool trick. Uh, they do that in Macintosh speakers and a few other products that they make, but we love the sort of the, the cohesiveness of how Mac works together. Uh, if you have a system, you know that you can take 12 volt triggers and connect all the pieces together so that when you press the power on one, you get it on all the old power up um, seamlessly. So that's a nice little add on feature. Um, this configuration is a two by two, so it's uh, four shelves in total, but you can actually order additional shelves if you have, let's say, an amplifier that isn't as tall as a 452 or a 611, you could add another shelf um, and the pegs or the holes for the pegs are already in place for you. Um, so two by two configuration and it is available in a bunch of other layouts, you know, to fit your system just right. This particular unit is finished in walnut, one of my absolute favorite finishes, and a great match to the Klipsch La Scalas that you see flanking this piece. I guess I have to say this is one of the best looking systems we've put together here in the shop. I'm super thrilled by the scale uh, and the function of, of this one in particular. So this is the 2x2 two two with the Klipsch La Scalas, uh, also available on our website if you're into Klipsch. So um, this is in fact uh, the walnut finish, as I mentioned, and the biggest difference between this and some of the other manufacturers is that um, this is built out of solid walnut. There are no veneers involved here. This is a solid piece of walnut, so are the shelves, so are the supports, just about everything. And that does, in fact, bring up the cost, but it also brings up the value. Um, you are getting, in fact, uh, a real piece of furniture, not something kind of slopped together with particle board and things like that. So. Um, as you can see, the grain is absolutely gorgeous. And another feature you'll notice is the ventilation slots. Um, both the shelves and the bottom of the cabinet have these nice little slots to encourage a little bit of airflow. Uh, Macintosh equipment tends to have pre pretty good heat sinks on it, so it's not crucial, but it does give you a nice little sort of convection airflow of air coming through the bottom of the cabinet, up through the slats, and then around the amplifiers. So that's a nice piece. Um, if I move over the preamp, you'll see that it's also present here on the, the shelves themselves. Uh, another great feature, um, and for us who, you know, we do installations all the time, this one's critical. Um, there are, in fact, casters underneath this unit, and they're done in a very clever fashion. Uh, there's a nice apron in the front of it, so you actually don't see the casters. They tend to be ugly. Uh, the casters are oriented so the unit can slide just forward and backwards. 
And that's important because it's usually tight behind the units. And a lot of the scratches and dents and damage to the unit comes from trying to get to the back of components. So we often have to turn, you know, amps and preamps, and sometimes they're super heavy, over 100 pounds, to get to the connections in the bottom. And that's how you end up nicking the unit. You end up hitting the corners and scratching the, the shelves, etc. Well, this solves the problem. Um, because there are four casters, super heavy duty casters in the bottom, we're able to slide the unit very, very easily. One person can do it on their own. And then when you're done sliding it and you put it back to its resting position, you know us audiophiles, we don't want anything on casters. It's we want a real nice contact point between the cabinet and the floor. And we've got that through these clever little holes here. If I put a screwdriver into this um, and turn it, there's a threaded foot in there that will come down and essentially um, rest the entire unit on the feet. So there are a total of five, two at each end and one here in the middle. So when you're done sliding it around, you essentially turn the screwdriver you know, five or six turns into you'll, and you'll see the unit rise just slightly so that it's now sitting on its feet, not on its wheels. Um, and if you put a level on the unit, you can get it leveled just perfectly. So in case you have an uneven floor, it'll keep the unit from rocking or tipping or anything like that. So looking at the back of the unit, they didn't skimp out here. We still have solid walnut throughout the back of it as well. And they've got these clever little rails here that allows you to uh, Velcro your wires for wire management. Now this is a temporary install, so we haven't done that. But these, uh, these bars, and there are four of them, two in the middle and one at each end, allows you to essentially do your cable routing so that it's neat and tidy throughout. Uh, so a roll of um, Velcro would, would become really handy here. Um, over here we'll see the control panel for the lighting. Uh, an input and an output. So you essentially just daisy chain from uh, any of the Macintosh pieces into this so that when you power on, the lights go on. So essentially just a 12 volt trigger goes in to the preamp and then through out to the next item. All right, now let's look at the configurations available. Um, we've got a total of, of six configurations here, um, two, four, and six bays and then in two heights, uh, 34 inch for the top and 62 and a half inches for the bottom row. Um, we are looking right now at the two by two in Walnut, which has a mess up RP of 5750. Now that is, um, it's a sizable number, but keep in mind you're getting furniture grade stuff. You're not buying an audio rack, you're getting a piece of furniture that happens to also work really well for audio equipment. So if you compare this to, you know, a solid Walnut piece of furniture from any of the the big designers, you'll see that it is right within range. Um, and uh, the other great configuration would be this one here, the the three by two. So if you've got a slightly bigger system, maybe mono blocks and a couple other components at 7250, that's a great piece, probably a second best seller within the lot. Um, and then you can go to traditional heights. You know, if you uh, don't want to bend over much and uh, you want your turntable at a really convenient height, you've got this piece here that has four slots or four shelves and puts a turntable at a nice convenient height. Uh, and then again in, in two and three rows themselves. There are also amplifier stands. You could go, with, let's say, with a, a two by two and then a pair of amplifier stands uh, flanking the unit in case you have mono blocks. Um, and they are two in depth. Uh, there's one at 24 inches and one at 31 inches. Finishes are jet black, which is built on ash wood the walnut in natural, which is what we've got here, and the wenge on walnut as well. So um, if you want to see this uh, piece of literature, you can go to Macintosh website uh, and look under furniture, or you can go to our website, and uh, we'll have a link under products for, for Symbol and Macintosh, where you can actually order the unit. I encourage you to support your local Macintosh dealer. If there's someone in your area, chances are they may have signed up for this program where they can supply these from you, for you. And if they can't, please do give us a call. We'd love to earn your business. Now, just for display purposes, we grabbed some equipment that was sitting around the shop and stuck it on here. We've got the Macintosh flagship and just released C12000 two-piece preamp and uh, an MC275, the latest version, along with an MT5, which is also a current turntable from Macintosh. Um, other configurations would potentially be a power conditioner, maybe on this bay and an MC, you know, a 300 watt or, or 450 watt 
stereo amplifier on the right, you can put a CD player and a preamp on the other. So I think this configuration will hold most systems, but I understand that if you need a, a bigger system, we've got other racks or, or larger racks for you. Uh, I'm going to post some pictures above of different configurations so you can kind of see what, what sort of things work well with it. And that about wraps it up. I appreciate you watching. Uh, SkyFiAudio.com is our website where you can see not just this rack, but all the crazy stuff we got here in our shop in Glen Rock, New Jersey. And I encourage you to um, come and visit if you'd like to see some of this stuff in person. Uh, give us a ring, make an appointment, and we will show off our, our great facilities and all the great equipment that we've got here.